Hello, welcome to this video. It's Glenn Atia from DigitalLearner.com, and in today's video tutorial, I'm going to walk you step by step on how to use the PrimeBot new split strategy that has been implemented into it. And the issue that this new strategy is actually taking care of um, is what you will see in this trade right now. You see that some of these trades are minus. Um, 30 minus 20 minus um, 40 percent and the rest and the reason for seeing this is because with the previous strategy you need a lot of funds to be able to cover the dip whenever the crypto market drops by a certain percentage so you need a lot of funds to be able to cover the dip and if you don't have any funds to cover the dip then you'll be stopped in between and in this case you need to wait for the market to actually recover before you can actually make back or get back these funds that are somehow stranded here so that is what the new strategy is actually taking care of and those issues are you know when you trade with the previous strategy on the prime board you take care of issues like not enough funds to cover when using double position settings in a position of getting stuck during market volatility not being able to profit during the market crash conditions and so on so these are some of the issues that this new split strategy is actually taking care of now if you are new to my channel and you love videos about making money online about crypto trading and investing then consider subscribing hit the notification bell to be the first to be notified each time videos like this are published and if you are seeing this video for the first time and you're wondering what is prime board well prime board is actually a crypto trading board it is a quantitative trading board that works with two major exchanges which is binance and then huobi so link to sign up for an account will be in the video description whether you want to sign up for an account on binance on huobi or prime board itself you see all of those links in the video description and if you want to learn more about prime board to join our daily zoom meeting then we do have a link to join our telegram group also in the video description so with this new strategies actually that has been implemented into prime board this makes it um stands out among all other board that you can see in the market because with this it helps you to cover instead of just having your position being stopped like this um this play strategy actually um, take care of all of this issue and that is what I'll be explaining how to use them in this video so with that being said if you want to use this three split strategy once you log into your account in this case I want to assume you already have an account if you don't have an account once again link will be in the video description and if you want to get more videos about prime board and other crypto trading um, videos that will make on this channel then hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to be the first to be notified each time videos like this are published so if i come in here to prime but once you log into your account i want to go to order so let me just show you what the split it looks like see here on my other page you see that the first asset here is trading on the new um, strategy you see split attached to it and if i scroll down here again you see that eos is equally trading on the split strategy and you see this split um, actually attached to it now if we want to set up this plate one just like any other you know setup that we do for other trade if i go ahead and set up the settings for this um let's say litecoin yes it is all one trade so if i click on it it brings us to this page the next thing you want to do is to click on the setting and then when i click on the setting this is what you see we have the single and circle mode which was there before but the difference now is that you now have this re this replenishment mode so the new the, um, integrated strategy is this replenishment mode that you now have here so if you want to use the former strategy which is the martingale strategy you use this one but if you want to use the new method you go ahead and use the split martingale strategy now what i will advise going forward if you are using this board just continue to use the split martingale strategy because of some of this issue that it takes care of you so that when the market crashes even when you are in the deep you are still making profit that is exactly what the split, uh, split strategy actually help you do and i will explain that in details but if you have enough funds like hundred thousand dollars and above then you can go with the matching strategy and you know just reach out to us will help you set up your trade the way to continually run without you you know 
uh, coming every now and then to put the settings so going forward just make sure that you are going with the split matching your strategy and when i click this here on this singular circle mode you have the option of going with anyone you want but anything less than a hundred dollars i would suggest you go with this um, single mode i will show you why in a moment um, but if you have a thousand and above just go with the circle mode circle mode means that you want the board to continually trade that particular this particular set you are going to put set up here let the board continue to trade for you and making profit why the single mode is that when it carries out this one trade and sells in profit automatically it stops so circle is that it will continue to repeat that process again and again and again so after choosing whatever position you want to order single or circle mode the next thing is go with the split strategy and after that you'll be asked to select the number of split so here you can go ahead and select the number of splits that you want if i want five times i'll go ahead and select that if i want four times i'll go ahead and select that and then the first purchase amount will always be here minimum you can start with is 15 years it is so if you want to start with something above this you can actually go and put in that amount here now before we go for into setting up this split strategy what i want to let you know is how much you should be expecting to if you want to cover for this um, number of four um, split five six or even up to the ten split now let me pull up my chart so here on this chart we have the split here with um, double position and then we have this other column with no double position now the double position is this this is the double position whenever you select your split here you have this option here where it says advanced setting you have the option of checking this double position on or off so you have that option you can leave it on you can leave it off and that is what exactly i want to explain now and um, why using the matching strategy you don't really need um you you must set up the double position on but here you have the option of setting it on and off so how much will it actually cost, cost you to cover the first split the second split the third split up to the tenth split because we have 10 um number of split here you can select up to 10 so what how much will it cost you that's what we'll be looking at in this chart so if i come in here to the chart if you want to use double position on and let's assume that your first purchase price is 15 usdt if you're using 15 usdt it means that to cover for split one you need a total of 105 usdt to cover for the first split and what does it mean to cover for the first split the first purchase price will always be 15 usdt and then you have first call and second call on each split so each of these split has first and second call this one always sounds as a first um your first purchase price and then this one is the first call second call so what the new strategy simply stands for right now means that each of these split is treated as a separate trade so that is exactly what this um is representing each of this split is treated as a separate trade the former one here that you have here um the former matching your strategy it means that if it covers up to the seventh call or whatever it, it, it is treated as one trade but in this case with the new strategy each split is treated as one trade a uh, separate trade this one separate trade this one separate trade this one separate trade meaning that whenever the market dip to a certain percentage based on what you are going to set here it will go the trade will definitely trade or sell this um, separately and make profit for you so on the first option here when you enter with your first purchase price um when the market draws by three percent this is the call which is your first call here when it draws by three percent you want to buy um twice which the buy option here is always twice the previous amount so if your first purchase price is 15 um for the first call to be triggered it has to buy twice this and then for the second call to be triggered it has to buy twice of this so that simply means that here on the first call, um, if it drops by 3%, you want to buy twice, which is twice of this 15 USDT. And then when it drops again by 4%, so in this case, for the first split to be um, actually complete, the market needs to drop by 7%. So here is three years for that is making it 7%. So a total of what you need to cover for that first split is 105 USDT. If you want to cover to the second split using the double position on it means that from the second split 
it will be doubling whatever the first purchase price is. So in this first uh, second split here, it means that the market already it has dropped by seven percent to cover for the seven uh, the first split. So to cover for the second split, the market need to drop further by um seven plus three that will be ten whatever number you put there that is what you are actually calculating so the plus this will be ten and this, this will be thirteen and this uh, will actually make it uh, about eighteen percent or there about so to cover for this equals split it makes it means that the market needs to drop by eighteen percent for you to cover it to the second split and covering to the second split because we are using double position on it means that the second split has to double what you have on the first split likewise the third split the third split will double what you have on the second split it continues like that every split doubles the previous split when you are using double position on so that is exactly so here we'll give you an idea that for you to cover for the first split with the double position check on and then your first purchase price as 15 years it you need 105 you need 210 you need 400 and it goes on and on now if you want to cover using this same setting 335 336 337 338 for all of this split it means that you'll be covering the market when the market drops up to 52 or um, 60 percent that is exactly if you want to cover up to the fifth split it means that even when the market drop up to 60 percent you can still be making profit in the market that is exactly what this means now if i change this first purchase price there from 15 to let's say we want to make our first purchase price to be 30 usdt if i go ahead and change that it means that for sorry it has to be 30 i put in um what is not supposed to be 30 and um, that is what i wanted to put there so if i put that it means that for the first play with the double position on you need 210 you need 420 and then up to the fifth split this is what you need to be able to cover to the fifth split if you want to cover only to the fourth split this is what you need if it is only the third split this is what you need using your first purchase price as 30 usdt if you want to make it 100 usdt so you go ahead and put it 100 here yeah? so it means that on the first plate you need this amount second split you need this third split you need this and it goes on that way now what if you don't want to use double position on if you are putting off the double position and you are using let's say 20 usdt as your first purchase price it means that on the first plate to cover for the first plate you need 140. let me change this 20 to 15. um if i change this to 15 it means as on the first plate you need um one 105 second split 105 now because we are not using double position on whatever that will cover for the first split it is the same amount that will cover for the second split the third split the fourth split the fifth split and it goes on like that and like that and like that so this is exactly what you should have in mind that if you want to cover without the double position on you need at least 105 years to cover for the first split and then if you want to cover second split you need the same amount if you want to cover for the third you need additional 105 and it goes on like that until you get to the fifth split in this case if you are trading without the double position on it means that to cover for split one two three four five you need 105 plus 105 plus 105 plus 105 plus 105 this should be about 505 10 15 20 25 525 usdt to be able to cover for split one to split five for just a coin these calculations are done per coin so that is what i want you to understand the calculations are done per coin and all of this percentage whenever we send out a signal of a token that you are going to trade will give you some of this percentage you can play around with these numbers and try out what works best for you but our recommendations are always attached to the signals that was sent to you so with this being said let me jump that back to the app and explain how this can be done so here let's assume we want to go with the fifth split we want to cut the number of splits should be five times and then the take profit ratio will always be um, two percent you can sell whatever you want here two percent now this is another thing you need to have in mind if your take profit ratio is going to be two percent it means that you want to take profit whenever you enter that market your first purchase price is always 15 years a day. so if the market starts increasing from where you enter it means that for you to take two percent profit is going to take two percent profit or whatever this amount is 
whatever this amount is but if it doesn't go up immediately from when you enter the market and then it started dropping down let's say it covers for the first split here it means that if it is taking two percent profit it's going to take two percent profit of 105 if it covers to the second split so 105 here will take profit then when it gets here 105 here will take profit two percent and it continues to take profit separately on each of these split so if it is 105 that is two percent of that that is what you get two percent of this this is what you get but in a volatile market you don't really need to bother about this because if you are using circle mode in a volatile market it can repeat this again and again and again so that is what i just wanted you to take note of so the call any callback is always 0 0.1 and what this simply means is that whenever you are trading and this price continues to increase and it gets to two percent it won't take profit immediately even if it gets to three percent it won't take profit immediately even if it gets to ten percent it won't take profit immediately so the board will only trigger that take profit action of two percent when the market start dropping by by 0 0.1 so immediately the board will say that okay this market is dropping so let's take profit for you why the earning the callback for margin call is when the price keep dropping and dropping and then increases by 0 0.3 it start triggering another buy option for you that is exactly what this any callback and then the callback for margin call simply stands for then here we come to the advanced setting this is where you check the double position on and not on so this is exactly what i explained here here with the double position you have this here without the double position you have this so if i come back here this is i'm going to leave this off and then the first split here um on the first split you can't do anything on the first order here because your first purchase price is always this so for the first split the first purchase price is this and the second split here the first purchase price is that so here already we can't do that is why we cannot um type anything here but we'll go to this first cover here and say okay when we enter the market here and the price drops by three percent we want to buy the first cover when it drops drop further by 4%, which is 3 plus 4, 7%, we want to buy another one. And this will take care of this first split. For the second split, you do the same. If it drops further by another 3%, additional 3%, you want to cover. If it drops by another 3%, you want to cover. And then if it drops by 5%, the last one you want to cover. So it means that for this market to cover the, up to the second split, the market has to drop first split 7%. 7 plus this, that is 10 plus this, 13 plus 18. So this, for the second split to cover, you need to drop by 18%. And this percentage all depends on the numbers you are putting here. So if I put in 555 here, it means that it will be different from the 18%. So if I continue to the third split, if it drops by 4%, 5%, 6%, I want it to cover, then the first split, you go ahead, always use the settings that will give you on the signal. And after you've done this, you go ahead and click on update. Once you click on update, just click on confirm. And then once you click on confirm, you go ahead and start up your trade. So once you start up this trade, the trade will continue to run for you. And if you are using circle mode, it will continue to run until you ask the board not to trade that particular asset any longer. So once it stops, after you click on this startup, and um, if I go back here, once you click on startup, you will see your trees um now showing up here and then you see it uh, having this plate attached to it so anyone that is split you will see it having this plate and another thing you should notice is that this ones that are having split you can see that it is just minus one percent and uh, minus zero point six percent you can't see any of the new split strategy no matter how far that deep the market drop you can see it minus 30 minus 40 minus this except you don't have enough funds to cover for um you know the first split second split as i said earlier here for you to be able to cover to the fifth split here and then using this 333 um setting here this you know, percentage it means that if you cover to the fifth split it means you are calculating that if the market draws between 52 to 60 percent you want to cover up to the fifth split meaning that if i use the tenth split i can cover even when the market draws by 100 percent i can cover up to that and then still make profit in the market so if you don't have enough funds to actually cover up for this play that is when you have um your um bot or your token showing this minus 30 these are all the previous strategies so 
here i don't need to do anything i just have to be patient for this to sell off and when it sells off i will now be using the new strategy to trade all of this and that will make it be better for me and it can be you know faster in taking profit and it goes on and on and on so basically that is all i wanted to explain to you in this video if you don't understand anything yet as i said earlier link to join my telegram group will be in the video description um through that link that is where you get the uh, zoom meetings where you can ask your questions you know and get answers and we can walk you you know step by step on how to get started with a prime board so basically with prime board you don't really need to start worrying yourself everything is done automatically and the type of trading that prime board carries out is spot trading it is basically spot trading and this can is a means of earning your passive income in the crypto space i hope this is um simple enough to get you started with the prime board once again if you want to sign up for any of this platform prime board binance or will be links to sign up will be in the video description and join us on the telegram group as well so that you'll be carried along on all of every other update about crypto trading and investing that we have so that is it for this video if you have any challenge leave a comment um, using the comment section and i will definitely attend to all of your comments and if you want to start making passive income coming you know next year then this is the best option for you to get started join the prime board and you will never regret that you did so currently to activate this board it costs 150 years but we can do that for you for just 50 years just let us know when you join the whatsapp group i will take it up from there that is all for this video and i'll see you guys in the next video